I said we were done installing material, but it, that's actually not quite true because I'm actually getting an error down here saying we cannot find Hammer.js and that might cause certain uh, material components to not work correctly. And let's just have a look at what Hammer.js actually is. Now Hammer.js is um, another library out there that material uses to make touch information work. I know it's some of it it uses for is for like sliding stuff on the window but you can have a look at Hammer.js here if you want to. I'm just going to accept that we require that plugin to get all components working. So going back to the material install guide it says additional setup for MD slide toggle and MD slider we need Hammer.js. So let's install it. Scrolling down it needs to run these two npm install files first as to get Hammer.js in there. And let's have a look at how we install those. Let's just copy this line first and I'm going to open my second terminal and just pasting in the hammer.js one here and going back and grabbing the second one while it installs because we also need that one. And again, I already did it so it's faster so you guys don't have to sit and wait. So I'm saving this as a pure dependency but this one is actually for a dev dependency because it's going to compile something for me and that I only need to do on dev but on live I want to actually know about the Hammer.js. So dependencies is what we need for production code and dev is what we need for only development code. And now we have two new in here. We have the Hammer.js here and if I scroll down we have types and there they should also pop a Hammer.js up. It doesn't seem to be there right now. Let me just try and refresh. There we go. Types Hammer.js. So now it's installed at least. What else do we need to do to actually get Hammer.js up and running? Scrolling down it says go to the app modules. Okay and import Hammer.js. Let's do that. Just follow the guide, going to add modules, importing Hammer.js here. So now that's done. Let's have a look at what else we need to do. Going back it says one last thing you need to do is add this compiler option and add types Hammer.js to the tsconfig file. Now this is the compilation file that we talked about earlier. So let's try and go into that one. Again it's in the root and we can find it under, actually this one is in the source folder we can find that the TS, let me just zoom for you, TS config file here on the source folder. And here we just kind of do a comma and add this compiler option with Hammer.js in there. And now let's see if the error is gone so we can continue with our beautiful application. Now there's no error, everything is loaded. Next time let's try and use Angular for real. Have fun.